My name is Bill Spade. I'm a retired New York City firefighter from Rescue Company Number no. Five, and I was invited out to Denton to speak at the uh, ceremonial for the bell tower. And I'm honored to be here because uh, ever since 9/11, I've kind of dedicated uh, a lot of my time to giving back and to telling the, the story of 9/11. So I'm glad to uh, come out to Denton. I see the second plane come around. I watch it go around the Statue of Liberty. I watch that crash into the South Tower. Now I knew the first one was no accident. I make it into the city. I make it into the Marriott Marquis Hotel. And there I report to a chief. And he said to me, Bill, we can use you working out of the North Tower. And I make my way to the North Tower. And then I heard a loud rumbling from above. I knew something was collapsing. I jumped into that stairwell. I closed the doors behind me. I remember I hugged the stamp pipe that was there. And the noise got louder and louder. And I said, well, this is going to be it. It's coming down soon. And then it stopped. I didn't realize that was the South Tower coming down. I tried to get open the doors. Now I hear people on the other side of the door screaming. And I couldn't get the doors open. And with the help of emergency service cop, John DeLara, he and I both forced open the doors. And we got those doors open. We evacuated the people out of that area, about 15 or so. We weren't out of the building 30 seconds, and I heard it coming down on top of us. I never walked up. I got blown about 40 feet in the air, and I smacked into a wall, and I hit under a desk. And then I started getting buried with debris, recovered, and I said, oh, this is it. And I said goodbye to my wife. I said goodbye to my six-year-old. When I said goodbye to my two-month-old, I heard a lot. That was the most painful part of the whole day. When it was all over, I was still alive, buried amongst the debris. I remember putting my finger on my mouth to create an airway so I can breathe. I looked around the room. It was me and three other firemen that were left. We hugged the, air, we hugged the ground, breathing the air off the floor. And one of the guys says, help is gonna come get us, we'll stay here. I remember saying, no one is coming here to get us. We gotta get ourselves out of here. They said to me, Bill, how has it changed your life? I'll tell you this, I go to bed every single night and I say thank you for this day on earth. And if you give me another chance at it tomorrow, I'm gonna make tomorrow better than today. And I don't say to anyone, have a good day. Have a great day. So everyone here, have a great day. Thank you very much. What a privilege it was to work with David and uh, he didn't make a move without consulting me, and he certainly didn't have to do that because he's a very fine architect. But I can say that it has been one of the greatest honors I've ever had being involved in this project. We just want, want honored to help her fulfill her, her vision, and it wouldn't be here not for her. She brought the idea, she pitched it to the city. Um, it's all because of her that we're here.